Well, again, nice to see you. Dave and I are reminding you and ourselves of what we're expecting as things break open in Toronto and Pastor Billy and the team and whatever God's got in store. We don't really know what God's got in store, but we know he hasn't run out of plans. He's got great plans. So touching Toronto's for you. We're for you. Don't forget us. We're standing with Pastor Billy and we're reminding ourselves by looking at these amazing stories. Before I go into this story, which is a beautiful story of God's healing power and the person wasn't even there, I want you to know that I remember a lady from Asia and she came. I don't remember what was wrong with her, but I remember the night after she was prayed for. She did everything she could. She, need, she came to me. She said, I've got to get this to Pastor Billy. And she had done a gift for him. And she was so excited. And I don't know what was wrong with her. But I'm going to tell you, she was so overwhelmed with what God had done for her. She didn't know how to express it to God because I could tell she didn't know much about the Bible or much about the Lord. All she knew was there was a man there that, prayed and did something that completely revolutionized her situation. We don't have her story, but I have her story. And her story was so appreciative. If you've been healed, get back, start appreciating what God did. Get back, thank God. I've had pain. Oh, thank God. I've not had that pain for years and years and years. Thank you, Jesus, that I've been made whole. Thank you, Jesus, that you've restored so many things to me. Things that were gone, God has restored them to me. He is a restorer. He's a blesser. He just wants us to get in the right place, not to get blessed, but to be a blessing. But to be a blessing, he has to get me better and blessed so that I can be a blessing to others. We've got to get Pastor Billy to be strong. We've got to pray for him, care for him. We've got to love him. We've got to give into his ministry to keep him strong. If we don't keep Pastor Billy strong, look at all the people in the world we'll miss because he's carrying a special gift from the Lord. We all have gifts. God's given us all gifts. But Pastor Billy has an amazing faith in a healing Jesus because he was raised in it. He's seen it, experienced it. Come on, let's watch this amazing story now of someone standing in the gap. You gotta hear this story. Your husband. He's from Cuba. He's from Cuba. Yes. Had brain tumor. He had a brain cancer Brain first. cancer. He had four surgeries in the brain. So when I met this man in Cuba, I was going as a missionary to Cuba. Mm. Then I met him, and I, his son asked me to pray for his father because he had a brain tumor and a brain cancer, and they were afraid that the father was going to pass away. So anyway, I start praying for him, and that's how I met him. That's how we get involved into the evangelist in Cuba. He is a man of God, I might say that. He's a man of God who's very faithful. But... Uh, as we continued our relationship, he asked me to be marry him. And then I started going on my knees and praying and fasting and asking God for an answer. And I said, God, do you really want me to marry this sick man? This is not my future. It's not a future. He's in Cuba and I live in Canada. But anyway, one of those nights I heard very clear the voice of God and say, marry him. He's going to be, okay, he's going to be here. But I listened to God and I said, okay, I'll marry him, pay the consequences. So he was supposed to have the surgery in January of 2014. And I came the first meeting to Pastor Billy Burkle. I came and I was in a such a pain in my soul. Not because he was about to be my husband, but because of the pain that I knew he's going through already for so many years. Anyway, pastor prayed for me, and he gave me a piece of prayer cloth that they usually gives before, I don't know anymore. And then he said to me, 
take my instructions. He said, bring it to your husband, put it in his head, put it under his pillow, put it under his heart, whatever, as long as it's touching his head. And I left to Cuba. The next day, I went to Cuba and I said to him, do this, do that. And we prayed together and we fast together, but I couldn't stay for too long in Cuba because of the expenses. I went back again before January the 10th, I went the 8th, and he was already happy. He was saying at the hospital people that he was healed, that he was healed, that he was healed. And when they were preparing him, and I said, we'd like to have an MRI before, an MRI before in his head. I scan test. I, I, I'm, I'm sure that he's not gonna have a surgery. And they did it. And they did it that day. And to the glory of God, <laughs> honestly, nothing. <laughs> Where do you hear this? So anyway, what do you the, hear the, tumor, doctor say? The, the tumor would disappear. So they were confused. They were, they were confused. They were moving around. They call us a meeting, all the doctor, all the student doctor, and they call us and they say, and they call us and they said, we want to know what kind of witchcraft are you doing? <laughs> Come on, somebody better praise him. Come on. Isn't our God good? Gratefulness. We need, especially in North America, to work on our gratefulness. I mean, that even included a little love story, didn't it, on how someone gets married? I mean, as a pastor, I'm not recommending that. But clearly that lady heard the voice of the Lord, clearly loves her husband. She's in Canada, back and forth to Cuba. And... God performed a beautiful miracle so that they could keep serving the risen one. And what a great story. Thank God we don't have to go to witch doctors. We've got the one who's better than any doctor on the planet. He's the guy that put us together. He's the guy that put the breath of life in us. And right now, get ready, right now, in Jesus' mighty name, receive strength for your lungs. In Jesus' name, receive a fresh breath. In Jesus' name, receive fresh hope. Begin to think things aren't finished. Things aren't winding down. I'm going to go forward. God's got plans. It looks like it's going this way. No, God's got a plan for my life. God's going to lead me. God's going to guide me. Look at how God turned things around and we give him the glory. Oh, Lord, help us with a grateful heart so that we can thank you for what's happened in our past and thank you for what's about to happen by faith because you're already in our future. Bless you, family. Bless you, Touching Toronto. Hope to see you very soon.